Man, you can't write this any better, man. I mean, you just can't write this, man. You can't write this shit any better. Week two. Week two, 2019, man. You see this label right here? How, how I mean, come on, man. I should have known better as a Jets fan to get excited about something positive, man. How long is it going to be? How long is it going to be for Jets fans to continue to suffer and living in this in this embarrassing state of mind, man? You got friends, you got family members. I'm serious. You got the whole world knowing that this is supposed to be an NFL team. And then you got your name with it, your heart in it, like I do. I've been a Jets fan for... Since the age of five, man. I've seen the Kenny O'Briens, the Freeman McNeils, the Brad Baxters, the Altoons, man. And out of all them years, I might have seen maybe three or four good ones, man. You know, and there's plenty, plenty of times, man, when I was hyped up, ready to go, like, oh, let's get it. This is our year. And then I started saying to myself, it's always next season, man. I always just subconsciously just started saying subconsciously, always next year. So here it goes again. I hate to say this shit. Week two, it's always next year. But you can't write this shit up, man. You got a quarterback, second year. This nigga, instead of throwing for touchdowns, He's throwing for cooties. This man's got mono, man. Come on. Come on, man. What quarterback, what athlete that that's needed on the field catches something like mono? Some niggas get, excuse me, man. I'm just so upset about this, man. Some athletes get hurt legs, sprained ankles. Uh hamstring injuries neck injuries Anunwa and that one's another whole other one he needs to retire he, he's not even though he's built for it he looks built for it he's not built for it man we need to just let that man go man you know I mean I had high hopes for Anunwa man cause he's a strong guy like he you could tell he wanted to win and um the man again is hurt Yet again, he has never had a full season, man. I put this bad boy pretty strong tonight, man. Because you know what? I mean, you just, you, you turn on the TV, you look at, you listen to the radio, you look at some of the highlights, and you listen to things that are about to come. So, I'm not saying, listen, I'm still, I'm still with an ounce of positivity left. We, I mean, it's still early, but we got our second string quarterback playing on a Monday night game. Of course, it has to be televised nationally. Of course, of, of course, it has to be. <laughs> and um, you got Simeon coming in to replace a guy with mono. I mean. Athletes, come on, man. Athletes don't miss for particular reasons like this. But again, I am a Jets fan. And all Jets fans know this kind of shit happens. This shit happens, man. This shit just happens, man. It's like winning the lottery for the worst thing in the NFL. It just happens to the Jets, man. Whatever you don't think logically as an NFL sports analyst, or an NFL loving person, you just love the NFL. Shit like this just does not happen to other teams, man. It just happens to these guys right here. So now we got a second string quarterback coming in on a Monday night game against probably a very hungry Cleveland team that got him that's that's not trying to be embarrassed two two weeks in a row. And this is at home, bro. 
Are we going to witness 0-2 at home? And you know Mayfield's got a, he's got a cocky-ass attitude, so he's not going to let his pride slide. And I have to say, the Cleveland Browns, on paper, look stronger than us, man. And you know, they got blown up last week, but they're more hungry than the Jets. You see this clown. I'm not going to call him clown yet, man. I, I still think it was a horrible move that the, the the upper management made to get this dude Gase with his record in Miami. You see, you see his you see his record in Miami as a head coach. I'm not talking about a uh offensive coordinator. I'm talking about a head coach, man. The man ain't has not done anything. And you got McCarthy. I'm still tripping over that shit, man. I'm sorry, man. I, I mean I I'm just tired of this, man. I'm sure all my Jets fans is tired of this. But, uh, you know, we got to start start at the top. And this is also something, shit that just you don't hear about. This is the shit that just doesn't or shouldn't happen. You got an owner. You got an owner named Woody, right? Woody Johnson. He'd rather be an ambassador for the U.K., than be a football owner trying to manage his team right, man. Why do you even have this team? You need to sell that shit to somebody that cares. Because obviously, that's where it trickles down to why this shit is the way it is, man. These Woody niggas, man. These Woody brothers. I'm tired of these Johnson & Johnson people, man. They got too much money and not enough brains to think with. I'm just very disgruntled right now, man. I'm... I got to take a sip. I'm tired of this, man. I'm not trying to keep my peoples up here all night listening to me pout and shit. But as a Jets fan, dog, I, you know, we got a lot of bad teams down there, man, out there right now. But not like the Jets. If you're a Jets fan, you understand what I'm talking about, man. Only things that happen that shouldn't happen, happen. You know, like mono. You know, and then, I mean, come on, man. And then you got a man that just played his first game. He's out again for the whole year. And then you got Tremaine Johnson. You put these old, you put these, climat, you put these things together all in one bucket and you shake it up. You get nothing but a calamity. You get tragic bullshit on the field happening. You get burnt. You get a lack of uh, motivation. You get a lack of effort. You got people sidelined for mono. That's what you get, man. I mean, people really came into this. I came in personally into this season thinking that we are going to be at least a decent team and a respectable team. We can't even... Man, Canadian, man, come on. CFL, man, would we even get to the playoffs if we was in the CFL? Week two, we haven't been on Monday night yet, but the way things are shaping up, it sounds like a typical Jets year down the drain already. Not trying to go there yet, but I'm tired, man. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of this shit. I'm trying to quit cigarettes, too. I want to go out there and have one because, as a, I'm telling you, man, Jets fans understand this. You know, you get your hopes high. You get your hopes high every year. Every year. This year, I'm like, okay, okay, I think we're going to be decent. We're going to be decent, man. Like I said, respectable. We got a second-string quarterback, Simeon. Is going to play on the national televised Monday night football game against a team that is ready to destroy something because they got destroyed last week. And two weak-ass corners, man. And Roberts and Tremaine overpaid Johnson, bro. Holla back, man. This is my new channel. This is that disgruntled Jets fan stuff, man. For all my people out there that's Jets Jets, Jets, JTS, 
No, oh, man, y'all understand the pain, man. This is this is just getting real old. I'm telling you, man. I'm almost halfway to my to my burial, bro. If I if I count the age for how long I've been a Jets fan to the halfway mark, all the way to the fact that the grave and the burial's right over there. That's very close, man. And I'm halfway there. Can we at least get to the playoffs, man? It's been since 2010. Rex Ryan running his mouth and shit. When we had a decent secondary back in the day. Cromartie and them. Re Revis and them. When Revis was good. No disrespect to Revis, man. I don't care where he went, man. We should have never got rid of him. Gave him that money. That's the guy that deserved the money. Not Jermaine. Johnson. Holla back, my fam. My new channel, I'm going to keep us posted. You know, to all my Jets fans and my Jets people out there doing videos, big ups, mad love to y'all, man. It's just tired of this shit, man. But holla back, one love, Jets. Gone, man.